All right, hey everybody, James Brandon here, and I wanna show you some ways that you can use PhotoFrame from On One Software to have a little fun with your images every now and then. So I like this image a lot, actually. It's from Italy, but I'm gonna, uh, for the purpose of this video, just show you some ways that you can completely change this image um, just by using some of the images and uh, frames and, and this sort of thing that's inside of PhotoFrame. So the first thing I want to do is I want to give this image a sort of an old time feel to it. So I'm going to go to a crop, uh, a square crop format. So I'm going to hit C and in my width, I know that this image is 12 inches tall. So I'm going to do 12 inches wide by 12 inches tall. And then I'll drag down from the corner here. And I'm just concerned about these boats here mainly. I want to leave a little room on the sides for the frame. So I think that will work right there. Maybe pull up a little bit here. Okay. Hit enter. Now the first thing I want to do is give this image sort of an, an old time feel with a black and white and maybe some sepia in it. So I'll convert it to black and white. And I'll go right back over here to color balance. Bring the reds up a little bit. The yellows up and a little bit of magenta in there. All right, I'm gonna hit Shift, Option, Command E to merge those layers. I'll delete those now. So now I just have this, this um, sepia tone image. And I'm gonna bring the opacity back on this just a little bit uh, to bring a little bit of that color through, just to give it sort of a faded look. And I like the way that is right there. So from here, I will go up to Photo Frame and launch that from the On One palette. All right, where are you? All right, the last one here, Photo Frame 4.6. Double click that. And here we are inside of Photo Frame. So this program, it, it, it's really, really uh, just full of awesome stuff. I mean, they have such a huge library inside of here of backgrounds uh, and borders for your images, images and textures and um, you know images of clouds that you can use if you have a cloudless sky in an image. Then there's just it's just a huge library really, and it mainly comprises of uh, framing and borders and stuff like that for your images. So that's why they call it photo frame. So for the purpose of this image, what I'm gonna do is find some sort of border that mimics an old camera. So I'll come down here to photographic. And by the way, you can, you can go through these options on the left and spend probably an entire day at least going through these options and familiarizing yourself with what's in here. There's literally so much to go through. And for this one, I'm gonna to go to photographic, like I said, and I'll go down to, let's try film and just see what we can find, uh, or maybe instant film. Let's see, we'll just try different things here. Okay, type 665 is good. And, and a lot of these, um, these film borders, you'll have options of cold, neutral, or warm. So cold will give you this cool tone border. Neutral is just gonna be uh, monotone or um, black and white really. And warm will give you a sort of a warm feel. So I like the warm one in this case just because the image kind of uh, complements that frame there. So then you can just choose from any of these options, whichever one you like best. And let's see here. I think I'll just go with this one here, Instant Film 665 Warm, um, 8 by 10. Well, no, we don't want 8 by 10. We want 5 by 5. And you can see that in the in the name here. So this is a square crop, so we'll go with five by five. And then hit apply frame, and that will kick us back out into Photoshop with the frame added, just like that. So I can turn this group off, and you'll see the, the difference that it's making here. So the first thing um, that I'm noticing is on the left side, or on the right side here, it's cutting off this buoy that's floating in the water here. 
If you'd like, you can go up to the photo frame layer and you can see that it adds it inside of a group in Photoshop for you. I'll hit Command T so I can transform this layer and hold down Shift and start dragging my, my edges out. And that's gonna get rid of that pure white border around the very edges of this, which is fine with me. So you can just make it smaller or larger, whatever kind of suits you. I can let go of shift and bring this bottom up a little bit if I like, uh, just to get that where I want it and hit enter. And there you go. I mean, that just as quick as that, you can completely change the look of an image. And finally, I think what I would do to finish this off is probably take it back into perfect effects and find some sort of film grain um, texture to put over the image to make it even look a little bit older. But um, that's for another tutorial. So hope you uh, learned some stuff in this and thanks for watching. Have a great one.